Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to Style with Joy, your joy, because you are your leading lady. I'm Joy Ruffin. I'm going to be with you tonight, and we're going to be discussing iconic women with style, or maybe not. This was a two-part series. This is the second part. So we're going to be talking about women who maybe do not have the best signature style for them, but there are reasons for that, and we'll discuss it. I want to share this with you. I made some notes because I think basically bottom line, hello, hello, and welcome ladies, that when you're thinking about discovering and, and finding your signature style, you want to make sure that you know all the variables that are important. And here are some facts. Most of us, and the key word is most, celebrities and many successful women who are striving to be simply stylish, they don't have the time to shop and they don't know how to make it all fit together. They just don't have the creativity, the awareness and the knowledge to do that. Some of them are aware and know that and some not so. Many do their own styling because they just don't want to be molded into what not them and what someone else decides belongs to them or is their persona. And I get that, I really do. That's why the image consulting that we're gonna to do together is gonna to be totally alien from that. This applies to many successful business women and entrepreneurial women as well, because it's a two-way divided stream because most women, again, I love most, love fashion, but are not quite sure about how to put it all together. And here's a, a quote by one of the women that I'll, I've talked about, before, spoke about before, and I'll speak briefly about tonight. If you're not familiar with her, you need to Google her and look her up because we only have so much time in this 30 minute segment here. Her name is Iris Appel. And here's what Iris had to say. And this is so indicative of all of us until we have our awakening. She said, I think most people don't know who they really are. Mm. You heard us talk always about relationships building the best relationship with you first. They feel secure if they look like other people or if it's a look that everybody says is in. <gasps> That's so powerful. That is really so powerful because one of the things that we'll be talking about in the future is where is fashion going in the future? Where are women going to be when it comes to getting their own signature style and stamping it to them? because that's important. Who really wants to follow the crowd and look like everybody else? Now, one of the things that it's important here, that word, anybody, everybody, everyone, is so misconstrued when it comes to fashion, because that really so seldom applies, it doesn't even equate. Because when we're talking about fashion, we're talking about your body shape, and in order to have signature style, you have to know these things. There's no getting around it. And your fashion preference, what you like, and more importantly, what likes you back contingent upon your body shape. It's not just about pretty, new, trendy, fashionable. It's so much more than that once you get signature style. And then we want to talk about your colors and all the other things that go into that. But those and your successful lifestyle, you could be very, as we know, many, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of them tonight, not talk about them. We're going to share some insights about them, because one of the things that we want to be aware of is that when you're building your signature style, it needs to be indicative of you, not someone else. You can emulate and copy a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but that signature style has to be yours. And it might not be the most fashionable. It might not be the most stylish, but it's comfortable for you. And let's never forget the three basics. The three basics. You have to have balance in everything that you're putting on. You have to have harmony and there has to be grace and grace slash ease, comfort. Comfort is number one. And I think that's, I don't think I know. That's why casual has gone over to the dark side for many, many people because it's just comfortable. Now, let's begin here. What I'm going to do, if you recall, last week we spoke to fashion iconic women, whether they are your time frame or not, or whether you're that familiar with them, 
or even agree with the census that's taken that says these women are fashionable, iconic women who had a great sense of style. Whether you know them or not, the five that we showed you last week, they have that. Might not be yours, might not be mine, but we can't personalize here because we're going for your signature style. But these women develop their own. So today we're going to talk about the women who maybe not quite so. So before I get going, I wanna mention some names to you. And I'd like to divide between the very, very young generation and the mature generation, because I think there has to become a melding and a, a mean between the two, a blending. And so I'm going to mention some names that maybe you're not that familiar with. And yet I think you will be. There was a show some time ago about the New Jersey Shore or something. There was someone called Snooky. Remember her? Well, I don't think you could say that she had style yet. You see her today, if you see her anywhere at all on the telly, and her whole stylish image from back in the day has changed. But bear in mind, my friend, that most of us, when we're very, very young, we get away with everything. And we attempt and we try everything. We work to develop. We're, we're in the process of discovering and exploring our own sense of style. There's Miley Cyrus, who is really over on the wild side. There's Lady Gaga, who we're gonna to speak to her briefly tonight. Britney Spears and Nicki Minaj, who's very much in the limelight right here and now. Now, these are women that most women know their names, familiar with them, young and mature. I don't know if you could say they have iconic style. And then we talk about taste. Well, what the heck is good taste? My good taste might not be your good taste. Yet, you do a, a census and you put a group of people together and 99% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, the group that's more balanced, homogenized, and more comfortable and at ease, and everything is blending and right for them with good taste on this side, as opposed to not so good on this side, the voting would be more to the good taste side, whatever that is. It means that things have those three elements going for it, balance, harmony, and ease. And that's what whether you agree or not, these women had. Grace Kelly, who remembers her? Yet you go back and you look through and you do a little research and you look at some of the things that she wore and you say, oh, I don't know, I'm not so sure, maybe not, who knows? And then there's, I, 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 I attempted to put in not only celebrities. Now here's the speaker of the house, Nancy Pelosi. Maybe some people around the world might, well, everyone knows Nancy by name. And I wasn't aware, I, I think that she dresses well, but I didn't know she was considered a fashion icon, but she's in the book as such. So you just never know. Michelle Obama, Michelle Obama brought a lot of change to the White House, 99.9% .9 of it, very, very good. And she developed and brought a more casual look, but an upscale elevated casual look. She came with the sleeveless and the short sleeves. Very few first ladies have done that before. And then here's our first lady right here and now. Well, this was a little time back and now it's a whole bit, a different story. I don't know about you, but I find it, we're gonna start now with the ones who are maybe not so fashionable. But I don't know about you, my friend, but one of the things, by the way, I should say, welcome and thanks for being here. I get so carried away and I get so excited with everything that I forget to say, welcome to the show. and <laughs> Thank you for being here way after I've been here for five minutes already. But I think you already know, but you need to hear it and see it, that you're always welcome here and it's always good to see you. By the way, tag and invite your friends. If you're here and you know that you're enjoying the show, then ask them to join us every Tuesday night at seven o'clock too. We're, we're, we're gonna be talking about everything that relates to style and fashion because they do go hand in hand. And once we do that, we're going to be able to broaden the circle, so to speak. And by chance, if you come for the re replay, make it hashtag replay so they'll know that you were here. We're, we're attempting to really expand the, the circle, the family, the tribe that we're building here. And more importantly, before we get going here, if you've not signed up for your complimentary 30 minute session, do that because if you're struggling with anything or you want some information from a sage counselor, and that would be me, then sign up because you never know. It's not 
what you what you have now, what you want to have, and where you want to go, we can discuss that, and we can discuss possibilities about how you can go about that. So don't hesitate. Do make the appointment, and then we can talk about whatever your major concern or struggle is at this point in time. And we love it when you share. I love it when I look out and I see my friends who've shared it, because sharing is love. By the way, we're going to be sharing some things tonight. But I want you to know that when you share, it warms my heart and it does you good too. You never know. So thank you for that. And again, welcome. We're here in sunny Florida where the weather is pretty ideal most of the year with a few exceptions. And those exceptions don't play in really because they're so minor. They're not worth speaking about. But we're going to talk about celebrities tonight. And we're going to talk about those who maybe don't have or are not considered having the best taste. Now, this one that we're looking at now, this is Gwen Stefani. Everybody knows Gwen Stefani, right? Most everyone. Because she gained popularity in the 90s because she was lead singer of a, of a group. But then she went on to become highly successful when she became a coach on The Voice. And then she made her own clothing line. But this is a picture before all of this hit. Because here is something, remember we're talking about balance, we're talking about harmony, and we're talking about grace, and we're talking about a signature style. Hello, 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 thank you, thank you, Teresa. Good to see you, and Adair, my love, you're always, it's always good to look out and see you here. All of my ladies, and I call you all my ladies. You belong to yourself, but you're my ladies as well. Now, when you look at her, and I want you to do a solo looking at her, you can see this is just too much. This is going for a tribal look, which was back at a certain period in time, very, very popular. And those people, women were talking predominantly, who were searching for an identity or a look, were trying and, and attempting everything. The patterns here for her, they don't work. The shoes are too much. Everything here, if you're it all depends on what you're going for, but this is a look that just is neither here nor there. I don't care how you slice it. There's nothing wrong with the look if you just, but here's the other thing I want you to bear in mind. And this is really, really important. The five fashion styles that you're either going to fit in one or the other, bear in mind that a lot of women, not me and most likely not you, just want to be seen in a way that strikes attention, but it's not favorable. It's not admiration. It's not respect and at the highest level. It's just here I am and look at me. That's not signature style and that's not even style. And this outfit here, God bless her, it's an outfit. What can I say? It's, it's tribal. Maybe on someone else, ethnic, it would be more appealing, even though it was fashionable back in the day at that time. It isn't now. So that's just what it is. Guess who this is? I'm gonna put her up here solo and maybe you can see her. It's not a very good picture. Now here's a woman who, by the way, I'm showing you the three different looks. And by the way, we're talking about those who, how shall I say it? They do the up and down, the roller coaster weight thing. I've done it. I'm sure some of you have as well. The women in the entertainment industry, they really have a hard time. And why? Because the entertainment industry, no matter how you look at it, my friend, it's based on these five, for me, components. It's, it's, it's the entertainment industry is com comprised of actors and actresses, dancers, singers, artists, those who paint and do other things, and designers, costume designers, fashion designers, the makeup, all the people who are in that circle. And that industry, which I happen to love. I'm not knocking it, but I'm making a separation here. It's based on the body, ideal, really, for the celebrities and the stars. The skin, the short, the tight, the revealing, that's what, and cleavage. That's it for women. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's the avenue you want to explore. But most of us, and I don't like the everyday average normal, but most of us folk who are about business, that's not a look or an attire that we're going to gravitate towards. We can applaud those who are in that business for numerous reasons because we need it. 
it's 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 um fuel for the soul so to speak but that's not the arena that you and i go dancing in not really so that said i'm only bringing that up because here is jessica simpson now you can say a lot about jessica simpson but she is now regarded as one of the most successful celebrity found branded clothing lines inclusive of everything of all of them so there's no poo-pooing here she's done her work she's had the run of the mill up and down as far as career she has had unexpected turns everywhere and you can see here she is at probably her heaviest but she launched that fashion line i think it was in 2005 and it mushroomed and exploded and now it's doing exceptionally well she's in the billionaire market and here's the other point i want to make Billionaires and celebrities, whatever category they fall into, unfortunately, they are not the people that you and I have to or should be emulating or copying. There are certain things that we might every now and then, but their look is built around all of that stuff, the body, the skin, the short, the tight, the revealing, the cleavage, sexy, hot hot and sexy 24 seven, and that's for a young market. How many mature? There are some, and they are beyond exceptional. Brilliant. I'm thinking of Meryl Streep and Helen Mirren, and there's so many others, but that's a rarity. Most of them they get to be, and they fade into the atmosphere, the stratosphere, because it's built on youth, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want us to be mindful as we mature and as we develop, that we have to find styles and things that clothing, outfits, garments that work for us and that highlight us in the best way. But you have to applaud Jessica because Jessica has taken everything, the ups and the downs, the failures, and she has turned it into, for her, a business that's beyond exceptional. Now here is one of these, by the way, there's no knocking here, the sharing. I love to share. I'm going to share something else with you before we say good night. So long for now. This is one of my favorites. They're all my favorites in different ways. But here's Mariah Carey. Who does not love Mariah Carey? Yeah, Mariah Carey. I'm showing you in a casual look because what is she usually? She's dressed to the nines. Short, tight, evening gown, slits up to here. She and I think probably Jennifer Lopez, nobody could dress sexier when they're out there on that stage performing. And every day wear like this, this is so rare. This is a snapshot of her coming out of a nail shop. <laughs> Look at the shoes and the top, the hair, the glasses. Now this is casual, casual with no pizzazz whatsoever, no personality, none. But yet when she's frou-froued and out on that stage serenading you and I and billions of others, it's a whole different look. And she is referred to as a songbird supreme sing, song, songstress by the Guinness World Record. And you know what? I didn't know this. Uh, five octane vocal range. She's also known as the um, signature of the whistle register. She has that registered for her too. So she is special as far as her talents. But here's a point I want to make here. And I'm doing this in love. This is not judgment, opinionated, it's not knocking, it's just sharing my truth, might not be yours. Just because they're celebrities, just because they're uber wealthy, just because they have a phenomenal, fantastic, every degree education, even looks, even body, and all the other variables that you can bring into that, it doesn't mean that they have the best taste. In fact, <laughs> I read this somewhere. It says, having bad taste is better than having no taste at all. Tell me what you think about that. Is that the best? <laughs> I had to chuckle when I read that. Having bad taste is better than having no taste at all. Well, what can I say? It is what it is. But Mariah Carey is special. This I, I put here because she's so plain and simple in this outfit. And yet, truth be told, she dresses to the nines and very sexy and revealing because that's just a look that she wants to convey. All righty. I'm going to solo her because I want you to really take a good look here. Who do you think this might be? 
the one and only, the one and only Madonna. Now, Madonna was raised as a, a Roman Catholic, but at an early age, she displayed a rebellious streak, and to this day, it's still there. Madonna doesn't give, or she appears or projects that she doesn't give a hoot about any and everything. She is going to be her own agent. And whether you like what she's projecting and what she's showcasing or not, she is her own person. Not my style, most likely not yours, but you have to applaud her for her bravado in how she projects and presents herself. She's always pushing the boundaries of taste and behavior. So the question is, I, you, most of you know that my volunteering with these young girls, they, they all, because they're young and they're exploring themselves. And thank God I remember when I was young, what it was like. You want to explore everything and you want to know everything and you know everything, yet somewhere deep down, you know you don't know everything, but you want to showcase that. And so one of the things that happens is most of these young girls, they want to be in the entertainment business because they feel that they can mushroom into something special overnight because that's what they think. Most of us know that entertainers, that nothing happened for them overnight. It took a long, 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 long time. And when it comes to Madonna, the time frame for her, because of her background and how she pursued her career was never ending, but absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't matter whether you like or applaud her or her work. I'm talking about only fashion and how it applies to style and how you want to separate yourself from what in signature style you want to have. Do you want to base it on your awareness of your body and your own personal fashion preferences and all the other things that go into making that signature style for you? Or do you really want to just be a person who just gathers attention and maybe because you're showcasing something that's popular and trendy and yet it's not for you? These are the decisions, what's working for you, what's not working, and what do you want to work? These are the things that I want you to be thinking about. And here is our, I think I, I missed, I went over one. Let me go back and I want to find her because this one. You know who this is? Here's a lady, by the way, let me just say this, you know this, but I'm going to say it and you know, redundant is one of my names. Most of these celebrities, because that's who we have to talk about every day, folks, I don't like ordinary, average and normal because none of us really are that. If we're in this, on this, in this business online, whatever it is that you're doing, there's no every day, ordinary, normal person here that I've met thus far. I only bring in the celebrities because most of them, when they start out, as most of us, when we start out, make a lot of boo-boos and a lot of mistakes. And we say, Ugh. celebrities, you see them when they're starting out and you get pictures of how they're dressed and the metamorphic changes that happens for them, it blows you away. When you go back and you look at Lady Gaga, when she used to wear all those weird, crazy outfits, now she's become a wee bit more refined. By the way, this is Lady Gaga, if you didn't know it. Lady Gaga, not that this, this is like almost two, but now her signature style or her style, I should say, I don't know if she has a signature style. I don't really think so. But this style, this look is much more ladylike, refined and business core than she was known for because she was known for flamboyant, provocative attire. I mean, if she couldn't be provocative, more so, I guess, than, I guess you can't say more so than Madonna. Who could be more so than Madonna? But just as much so. But now that she's etched her way in and paid her dues, so to speak, her attire and her dress is much more refined, whatever that means. A little bit more polished, a little bit more elevated. And that's a good thing. So here are the women that, I have showcased for you tonight, five of them. Gwen Stefani, I'm gonna solo it. I, I didn't put them in the order that I wanted to, but that's okay, I'm gonna show. Gwen Stefani, I'm just gonna say their names with that because you know who they are now. And then there's Jessica Simpson, Lady Gaga, 
Mariah Carey, and Madonna. All right, there you go. So those are the ones, let me put myself back in here, that no matter how you slice it, and I really would like your opinion. I want you to tell me what you think. <laughs> Teresa says, lady, love your girl. Got to go. Okay. I understand. I want you to tell me which one of these five you think has good taste. And now I'm going to go back to the ones last week that we showcased as having exceptional taste. Now, it's your call because when we design your signature style and how you stamp it to you, it's going to be all about you. But in that stamping to you, we're going to be discovering your successful lifestyle and your fashion preferences and your body shape and what fits you best, what looks best on you. And beyond looks best, looks are always important, but more importantly, ease, grace. What are you comfortable in? What do you absolutely feel always good in? When you go through your closet and you pull out all of the outfits that you, when you wear them, you don't even give them a second thought because they just feel right. You know, they look good on you. Those are the ones that you're going to pull out and we're going to base and build your wardrobe around those outfits. That's what we're going to do because that's the only way that we can discover for you. And you're going to be bringing, oh, it's going to be a wonderful workshop that we're going to, by the way, this workshop that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to start highlighting this next week, and not next week, uh, the first of the year, because by the way, I'm on tomorrow night with my guests and then going to be away for a couple of weeks, going to take the holidays, the Christmas and New Year two week period here and spend more time with hubby and gather all of this stuff that I have to get together with these two beautiful people that I'm working with to present to you a workshop, which will be showcasing uh, March the 16th, but we'll start promoting it the first of the year. And I might, I might even start like here and now sending out posters so you can see and find out more about what it's going to be, but it's all about you. It's not going to be about me. It's not going to be about your best friend, your mom, your relatives, it's gonna be about you. What's best for you, what you feel the best in, what looks the best on you, what colors are best for you, what shape where you need and must have and require, and the jewelry and accessories, we're gonna put it all together where you're going to walk away with an image that fits you. And you're gonna walk like the queen that you are. You are your leading lady, I love that tag. Because I adore women and I think, I don't think, I know, we are all our own leading ladies. And so we're going to get really deep, deep, deep down in there to find out exactly the leading lady that you are. Because leading ladies, like leading men, there are many different varieties, many different styles, many different personas, and we're going to discover yours. Now, here's something I want to share with you very briefly. I don't know if I have this right, but I want to share this with you because I love sharing. And if you don't know that, you know it now. I have aligned myself with a group that I absolutely adore. And I want you, and it's a group that you can join. It's a freebie. But the information and the, the stuff in there that is, is, I say stuff, it's information is mind boggling because it's never ending. It's called the speaksee.com mobile app. And I want you to go there and join up because it's all about the soul. Aren't we about the soul? Aren't we about getting into the gut and the core and the purpose of why we're here and what we're to do? What talents and gifts are we to perfect so that we can share them with other people? And so here you're going to find a lot of that. And there's so much there that you can look into. I'm going to look and make sure I have the right link and put it in this broadcast a little bit later. But it's Speaksy, S-P-E-A-K-S-I-E dot com. 
It's a mobile app. You can uh, line up and, and sign up for it. It's a freebie. And then you'll, it'll take you from there and you'll learn a lot about it. My friend, it's always good to see you. And if you're watching the replay, type in hashtag replay so that I'll know that you were here. And thank you for stopping by. Love it when you do. I really love and enjoy looking out and seeing that you're here. Thank you, Teresa. I know we're also in, active and engaged and busy and we can't stay long, but we do the best we can. And it's always appreciated. Join me tomorrow night, seven o'clock. I have a fascinating young lady for you. You know, I love youth. And we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship and how that applies to all of us and what we need to know about it more. There's never enough that we can learn. And if you've not joined my groups, join both of my groups, Style with Joy and Leading Ladies, Leading Legacies. My friend, until the next time, you be and stay well. Look after you. All the best. This is Style with Joy, your joy, because you are your leading lady. Joy Ruffin, signing off and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow night. So long for now. Cheers.